so today we're going to do a recyclable material flower. I have a Trader Joe's fruit pouch uh, box right here that I opened up and I have actually already cut some pieces from previous boxes that um, we used and I cut them out in various shapes. I used rectangles, uh, circles, <laughs> sorry he's trying to get the phone, um, rose petal shape, you know, I just sort of winged it. And we're also going to need a piece of paper. This is a piece of cardstock. You can use whatever paper you have. Um, you don't even have to use paper. You could use a newspaper. You can use a piece of foam board. You can use cardboard. Uh, whatever you guys feel like using is fine by me. Um, so I have never done this. You and I are going to be doing this together for the first time. And we're just going to sort of go with it and hope that it comes out pretty good. So what I'm going to start by doing is actually um, making a circle in the middle, like a flower, uh, just to sort of give me some guidance on where I want my flower to go. So you can use a do -a dot you can use a sticker, you can use whatever you want for the middle of your flower. You don't even have to do that. Um, you can simply draw a circle, freehand it, whatever you want to do. Um, so now I'm going to take some of these pieces and get my glue. And you guys can have um, your kids do glue sticks instead of Elmer's glue, which might be easier. And sort of just let them experiment with it. If the glue goes all over the paper, it goes all over the paper. Guess what? It'll be sticky and you'll be able to put your pieces on. Alright, so I have this cool piece. We're going to put it over there. I have a rectangle there. And this is really nice. Um, I sort of did this on purpose, the different shapes and the different sizes, because you guys can use this as a learning experience too. So you could say, you know, what shape is this? What color is it? Is this one big? Is this one small? I got some ingredients over here. And I'll show you how this is coming out so far. I'm just sort of having, don't touch that going with the flow, putting in random spots, you might need to add some more glue, just sort of put it all over here, and I totally let my kids use the, the glue on their own, um, because I have these little containers that have um, a little paintbrush in them. And they use the paintbrush and they go all over, which is really nice. They also are learning how to use glue sticks. And I really want to teach them to be independent. Sometimes um, we prompt the kids too much and then they become overly dependent on us. So I try to avoid that from happening. And I'm totally okay if the project doesn't come out looking like I had thought it would look like um, because honestly it's the kids project and <laughs> oops careful and if that's what they think it looks like if that's what they want it to look like then that's okay with me um, so this is sort of how my flower is coming out now and let your kids sort of put the pieces and tell me you're helping me. Yeah, thank you. Wherever they want. Um, if it doesn't look like a flower, that's fine. If you want to make it look like a flower, that's fine too. Um, I would sort of let them do what they want with it and sort of follow their lead. Um, you might want to make multiple flowers. You might want to make only one flower. You might want to make a big flower. 
Tommy, I think your head is in the entire clip. Excuse me. Alright, I'm sort of just layering these um, so that my flower is a little bit bigger. So now it's getting more depth over here, if you will. Um, <clears throat> so, are you guys liking these projects? Do you like when I when I do video posts? I really like the time lapse ones because they're quick. Um, it shows you everything that we did in the video. Um, sometimes these ones can be a little boring because you're watching my every move. So, this is my flower. I might add more to it. So after you do this part, you can either make a stem or you can cut out a piece from one of your boxes to make a stem. So stems are green. So I'm going to use my Trader Joe's one over here. Excuse me, Tommy. Excuse me and just cut out a rectangle because stems are a little bit rectangular. There's my rectangle. I'm going to put that over here. And then you can either draw on your leaves for the stem or you can use some more pieces. So now that's what it's looking like. So I'm going to draw a leaf over here. <laughs> it looks silly. And you can paint, you can use markers, you can use crayons. You can do whatever it is that you'd like. And I'm going to add some things over here, too. Just freehand it. Oh, thank you for the pencil, honey. Tommy and I try to do at least one or two of the art projects I post every week to show you guys support. To show you guys that, you know, we're here, we're trying to stay engaged, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. So, <laughs> this, is, this is my flower. <laughs> I, I, um, I think I'm going to use some more of these. I don't really like how I drew my, <laughs> my leaves. But the best thing about art is that you can never mess up. Right, so, third do something. Oh, I like that. So it looks like, oops, so it looks like a shadow. So I'm gonna put another one over here. Um, see. Please don't throw that. It's not really safe. Uh-oh, Tommy. What did you do with my bag? <laughs> Maybe next time I'll make sure he's napping so he's not touching all my stuff. Alright. I found another little one that looks like a leaf, which was supposed to be a, a petal. And there's a right there. Yay! 